Okay, so this is my last video for level one mechanics this year. And we're just looking at two formulas which we haven't covered yet. And they were work equals force times distance. And the other formula I'm looking at today doing this question is power equals work over time. And this is question three from the 2013 um, NCA exam paper. And the first part of the question is all about a box being lifted in the warehouse. And the box has a mass of 2,500 kilograms. So explain the difference between weight and mass. Well, weight is um, the force exerted by an object. So the force exerted by an object um, on a surface due to gravity. So it's a force and therefore it's measured in newtons and this is a common misconception in everyday life and weight is often referred to as how much you weigh in, in kilograms which is incorrect so your weight should always be given or quoted in newtons whereas your mass is the amount of matter or stuff for want of a better word um, in an object so your weight um, changes from planet to planet as the force of gravity changes but your mass always stays the same and your mass is measured in kilograms measured in kgs so in this case the mass of the box is equal to 2500 kilograms and then the next question is they want you to work out the weight well the weight is equal to mass times gravity which is equal to 2,500 kilograms multiplied by the force of gravity on Earth, that is, which is 10 newtons per kilogram. And that gives you a value of 25,000 newtons. So that's the weight of the box. Now, the next part of the question goes on to talk about a forklift lifting this box. So a forklift lifts the box four meters straight up so that it can be placed on a shelf. And it takes five seconds to lift the box at a constant rate. So I've just taken the liberty of drawing that diagram over here. So here's your forklift, and it's lifting the 25,000 Newton box uh, to a height of four meters, and that takes um, five seconds. And the question that follows, part C, calculate the work done to lift the box to the height of four meters, and then calculate the power needed by the forklift to lift it to this height. So the first part here, work equals force times distance which in this case, the force that's being moved is uh, 2,500 newtons. Um, and it's been moved over a distance of four meters. And so that gives you a value of 100,000 um, joules because work is measured in joules as well. So it's a form of energy. And the next part is to work out the power, where power equals work over time, which is equal to 100,000 joules divided by the time it took to shift that um, or to do that bit of work, which was five seconds. And that gives you a power um, output of 20,000 watts. So the work done is 100,000 joules and the power is 20,000 watts. The question then goes on to get a little bit more physics out of the motion involved. And it asks you to find the average speed of the box as it moves up to the four meter high shelf. So speed equals um, distance over time. And the distance covered by the box is, of course, your four meters. And the time taken was five seconds. So the velocity or speed of the box as it moves, constant speed of 0 0.8 meters per second. So the average speed is a constant 0.8 meters per second. Part E then, explain how the power needed to lift the box would be affected if the box was lifted at twice the speed. Um, in your answer, you should consider how increased speed affects the time taken. Well, from the um, formula power equals work over time, if you just remove work for a second and relate power to time, you can see that power is what they say in maths or physics inversely proportional to time. In other words, if you want to um, decrease the time, you must increase the power. You can hopefully see that from that relationship. If you increase the power, then you will decrease the time. You just decrease the value of T. You get a larger relationship there. Um, so what we're trying to say here is that if you want to decrease to um, T 
decrease the time taken um, to do the work, um, which is by working faster, by working faster, which is an increase in speed. So if you want to decrease the time taken to do the work by, incre by increasing the speed, then you need to um, increase the power. You must increase the power. So you must use more power to get the job done faster, essentially. And so if you have the um, time, so if you have the time um, taken, if you have the time taken by doubling the speed, then the power uh, must be doubled. So in simple terms, like I've said already, if you want to um, uh, discuss how the time is affected by the increased speed, um, if you increase the speed, it means you're, you're using more power from the forklift in this case, and therefore um, there should be less time taken. So if you half the time, you need to double the power. And that is a look at question four from 2013 papers.